Hey guys, how is everyone doing today? It is Robin, the Lady Biker. I hope everybody is having a great, great day. So I am out today on my boy Bob. He and I are getting some one-on-one -on -one time. But I also have been on the hunt for a while for good heated gear. And I finally found something that I really like. So I thought I would tell you all about it today. guys yeah out on here on Bob today and he and I both want to say thank you so much to Ewool for sponsoring this video today guys y'all have been amazing to work with so as I was saying in the war in the very early part of the video I've been on the hunt for heated gear but to explain all that to you I kind of need to start at the beginning so if you're relatively new to my channel you may not know yet, but about five years ago, I lost my thyroid to cancer. And I'm still in remission, or still considered in remission. However, medication has still, the one thing that it, can, that it has not been able to really adapt for is the ability to control my body temperature, especially adapting to the cold. And... I seem to feel the cold uh, a good 15, sometimes 20 degrees sooner than just about anybody else around me. And guys, I enjoyed that road. I'm just going to take a Yui here at this traffic circle and do it again. It was just too much fun. So anyway, ooh, let me get around it. So anyway, I get cold very, very easy. And once I am, <laughs> I just like doing that. And once I'm cold, about the only way to warm me up is a hot shower. So staying proactive in being and keeping my body temperature warm has become critical, especially when I'm riding all day. So I've been on the hunt for it, and I've looked at several different manufacturers and just was not real happy with what I had found out there. Either it didn't fit me properly or the power sources they offered were not sufficient to meet the needs I was looking for. So then along comes Ewool, a Canadian company, and they, along with Chicks and Machines Magazine, who I'm a contributor for, decided to do a collaboration. And I was one of the collaborator, or contributors that was fortunate enough to be gifted one of their amazing heated vests to test. And to say I'm happy is an understatement. Oh my gosh. So in the last two weeks, I guess it's been about two weeks, here on the Central Coast, we had a snap of the marine layer where it's just been cold nasty and cold today it finally broke and it is gorgeous but it hasn't been that way over the last couple of weeks but then we also do a lot of riding and moto camping up in the mountains here in California and when I'm recording this here at the end of April there's still a few roads close to us that are still closed down due to snow so yeah there's been a need and, oh my gosh, I've just been thrilled with what I found. So guys, I'm going to finish my ride because I'm having a blast. And then I'm going to take y'all back to the, to the house or the garage. I'm not sure where I'm going to sit up and do it. And I'll show y'all the vest and tell you a little bit about it. All right, guys. So we're back at the house. And I promised you that I would show y'all the vest, right? Check it out. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have been so thrilled with this vest. So with any type of gear, with our bikes, with parts, there's always pluses and minuses, pros and cons. So let's go through those. So let's go over the things that I like about the vest. Number one, it is fit. It's designed to fit a woman, to fit our body. Oh my gosh, if ladies out there, you get it. We struggle to find gear that is properly fitted for us. And Ewool nailed it. 
they have these little stretch panels here on the sides so it'll give with not only just our curves but with our movement it's fantastic it's probably the best fitted heated gear i found and i looked at several manufacturers so the fabric I don't know how to just how to describe this fabric other than it feels like a cross between a very soft a very fine woven wool and almost a neoprene it's an unusual but it's a very comfortable fabric that gives and because of that high quality fabric all on its own it's a phenomenal insulator so even before you turn it on and i found this a lot whenever i'm working outside in the garage at sun, you know, as the sun is going down or when I'm out moto camping as the sun is setting and then early in the morning, there's always this in between time where having the vest on is too much, but it's still a little too cool to take the vest off because you still need those layers. So all on its own because of the quality and durability of the fabric, it's a great insulator. I was like, yes. Bonus, it's got a waterproof rating. Drop down into the comments. I've got a link to the eWool store and you can see more about their uh, waterproof rating there. But let's face it, if you ride a snowmobile, if you ride an ATV, a side-by-side, -side, uh, a motorcycle, at some point, you're gonna get wet. You just are. So having a heated piece of gear that has a waterproof rating, total bonus for me. So speaking of it being a heated vest and there being electrical elements, one of the things that I was disappointed about when I was kept looking at other manufacturers was not only the surface area of their heating elements, but also where they were placed. So with eWool, from basically about my collarbones to just below my natural waistline, you know, close to almost where low ride jeans sit, heats. Front, back, and the collar's heated too. Ah, oh, I love that. How many of us have been riding along and had cold wind go down our neck? Not a good experience. So having three very large heating surfaces on this vest, so needed. Speaking of heating surfaces, let me show you. So right here, see this little tabby here? That's where the that's the on and off button. So all you do is you press and hold until it turns, until the light turns on, see? So when it's red, it's on its highest setting, and this vest has three different settings. So you've got your high, you've got your low, and then you've got your power saver mode, which in this one, the heating elements will cycle on and off to extend, if you're using the battery pack on it, it extends the battery life, so. I like the fact that you can choose for however cold your environment is and what you're doing. I mean, if you're just sitting around, you're gonna want it warmer, but if you're up and moving, the power saver mode may be all you need. So it gives you a choice to fit what you need in your environment. Let me turn this off, because I wanna show you the battery. Because that's the other thing I love about this vest is multiple sources for power. So. One of the things that it can do is that you can't, oh, let me show the battery first, because the battery's kind of unique. So the battery packs here on the back of the vest, and let me unplug it. This is your battery. This is it. Look how thin that is. And the best, because of where it sits in your low back, you don't even know it's there. So, and, haha. Uh -huh, the vest, I don't know if I can show you here on camera, but it actually, the pocket is set up to hold two. Yes, two different batteries. So if you are running strictly battery power, you can have a lot of, of usage for an extended period of time. So battery life, because that's another big issue. This battery on the high setting will last up to two hours. On that low setting, it'll last up to four. On the power saver, it'll last up to eight hours. That's a long time on one battery. And in my experience, the recharge rate on this has been really fast. It's, you know, I never have sat down and really timed it, but it, it's, 
anytime I've plugged it in before I knew it, I turned around and you know, it showed a full battery. So been thrilled with how quickly it recharges. One of the other fa fantastic things about it is this feature right here. See this little port here? It allows you to recharge the battery without even taking the vest off. Ah, love it. Great, great feature. Though how much I'll use that feature, I'm not sure, but just being able to have the feature is awesome. But speaking of power sources, this one, you know, if I'm running in a cold environment, I may need to have not only the heating all day, but also when I'm at camp. So the Ewol offers, I think it's three different uh, are wiring harnesses to either power or recharge the vest from a 12 volt, you know, for a power port in a car or not sure whatever, but anyway, a power port, a 12 volt, 12 volt power port, say that three times fast. It also has a specialized cord for those of you that ride snowmobiles. And for those of us that ride ATVs and uh, motorcycles, we have a harness where we can wire this into the battery and then just plug it in. That's where I'll be using this power port the most. Uh, so you have a multitude of different powering options for the vest. That is fantastic. Absolutely love it. So those are all the things I like about it. Let's talk about the couple things that I dislike about the vest. Set. This vest is kind of at the upper end of the price range for heated gear. And when I first saw that, I was like, ooh. However, when you start looking at the construction of the vest, it's upper end, well-designed, durability, uh, waterproof, large heat, large heating surfaces. So you get a lot, but for all that extra technology and quality, you are gonna pay for it. I think it's worth it, but just be aware, it is on the upper end of the price range for gear. Second, you need to measure. You really need to measure your body. Now, whenever I measured myself, I was in one size for like half the measurements. And on one measurement, I was on one size up. And I'm glad I went ahead and ordered the size up because it allows it to fit next to my body and to fit well but it still allows for ease of movement. I don't feel restricted. I don't feel like it's binding me anywhere. So you really do need to take the time to measure because if you don't, you might get a size that's not appropriate for your body and then you won't get the great results that you're really looking for. At the time recording this video, we're still quite a bit in a lot of the restrictions for COVID. And because of that, getting products from Canada across the border into the US, you need to allow for time. Sadly, right now, because of that, things are getting hung up crossing the border and it does take extra time. So you have to plan ahead. I fully expect that once all the COVID restrictions have lifted and trade across the border resumes its typical uh, pace, I guess, that that should go away. But for right now, you really do have to plan ahead because I know mine got hung up in customs for close to two weeks. So just plan ahead. So to sum it up, I love this vest. I absolutely love this vest. I loved it. I love it so much that I invested in additional accessories for it. And I'm even considering buying their heated gloves. Oh yeah, they got heated glove liners because my older motorcycle doesn't have heated grips, so I don't ride him as much in the winter because my hands get cold. But to have those heated liners, oh, so yeah, I love this product. This is gear I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna use. This is not a thank you very much, let me put it on the shelf. This is gonna get used and used often because it's such a great product. So guys, with that being said, Ewol, thank you so much for gifting me the vest. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Y'all have been amazing to work with. 
And for everyone else out there, give them a look. Everything's down in the description. And with that, go get out and ride. Have fun. Be safe. And I'm going to catch you all in the next video. Bye.